Hello, hello, hello. What's happening, everybody? MCOC Droid does back again for another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. That's right. You saw it here. 6.4 is done. So Act 6 completion is done. Whoo! Look at those rewards coming in. Oh, man. Feels good. It feels good. I agree with everybody else. The Grandmaster fight is is well crafted. I you know I used a few more revives than I had expected, but that was totally on me. Um, it was fun. It's a lot of fun. It's absolutely a lot of fun, and I am excited to go back into it. Actually, I didn't think I would be, even after seeing everybody else's reactions. But I am very happy to be done with it. That is for sure, though. So. We have a lot of things to open here, but uh, of course we got to start with the 25% tier 5 CC frag selector that popped up automatically. So the only tier 5 CC I've gotten so far was from my first run of the Abyss. I got Cosmic, which went into Corvus. He's rank 3. Um, th the problem is, as you see right here, everything, nothing is really standing out all that much. Um, in terms of my current roster, which I can show after the fact... You know, my next rank up that I would like to do would take my six star human torch to rank three. So I'm kind of inclined to just do science. Um, I don't yet have any amazing mutant champs. Um, I don't have any mystic that would be worth rank three. Ditto for tech. Skill, I mean, I do have an unawakened six star Aegon. Um, but again, he really needs to be awakened. I've still got the five star that's maxed out. So, you know, I'm not really uh, focusing too hard on him. So I got I think I got to go science. I mean again, neither, none of these are remotely close to forming anyway. So I will take science that gets me a lot closer to a rank 3 6 star human torch. Final answer, there we go. So yeah, let's open up some crystals. I got to take a couple of screenshots. Sorry not sorry. There's I think there's a title somewhere maybe. I don't know. Um, but I've got the five star shards, which is going towards tomorrow's live stream opening for five star featureds before those go away. Six star shards rolled in pretty well here. I've got a ton of rank up materials. Um, of course the rank up gems, the, uh, the cab crystals, random cab crystals right here and the five star nexus. So, uh, replay? No, I'm totally kidding. Let's get out. Let's get out. Absolutely not buying this. Totally not worth it. Maybe if they were 10% selectors, but even then, it's it's still overpriced. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip through the the uh, the cutscene here. Most of you have already seen it, I'm sure, and I'm going to play it for myself later on. But uh, whoo, there we go. It is done. Feels good, man. Feels good. It really wasn't too bad overall, especially compared to previous uh, completions, like especially 6.1 and 6.2. I, I got through this pretty pretty good, I must admit. Pretty good. You know, I still used pretty much all of my items, and I did have to buy a few revives at the end there for the Grandmaster. But, uh, but yeah, it was a lot more straightforward than uh, 6.1 and 6.2 in particular. So... Let's get into these crystals. Uh, I'll start with the rank up crystals and we'll do the calves as well for the heck of it. Um, rank up. I don't really know what I'm looking for here. Um, I just kind of spread it out. That's good, actually. I was going to say probably a science and a mutant. So I'm glad that that's what I got. Um, let's just go ahead and do these two to threes. Again, just looking for variety, basically. So that's good. So that's a two to three and a three to four for science now um it's a two to three for cosmic looking over super duper quick i promise i won't be long um you know if i can ever if i can ever pull a five star thing i can pretty much take them to rank five immediately can't awaken them don't have a science awakening gem but uh yeah so now i've got a two to three and two three to fours for science so you know it is what it is there is that good looking a six star generic rank up gem as well um again no one no one immediately calling to mind as to who i would use it on right this second um again you know corvus is rank three human torch is already rank two so getting close but yeah still need that tier five cc minor detail um you know again no one knowing that i'm like really jones into rank up immediately so i'll hang on to the gem for now we'll see what happens over the next couple of days um 
I think I will be opening a six star here. So in case you missed it, I threw up a poll over the weekend on my account, on my account, well, on my Twitter account saying like between this and finishing up, I'm collected. I'm going to have about 30,000 six star shards. What do y'all think I should do? At least as of recording right now, um, it's about a 48% lead for open three basics. So I'm thinking I'm going to open one basic today. And we'll see how tomorrow goes with all the five-star features. Maybe I do another basic or two to add on to that stream. Maybe I do a featured. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Um, let's go ahead and open up those calves. It's only four, so it'll be relatively quick. And, of course, since it's only four, I'm not expecting anything. Um, I mean, obviously, any... You know, four-star dupes would be nice, especially if it's a max sig for some more five-star shards. Any five-star would be great, especially if it's a dupe as well, because, again, more six-star shards. So, and obviously any six-star will do. So, I'll spin out two, and then I'll just pop the last two. Oh, man. And then I've got that five-star nexus crystal and the six-star basic that I'm worried about. And then all the features tomorrow. Let's see. What do we got from this first one right here? Anything? Nope. I I don't think I've gotten... I'd have to look back at my vids, but uh, I know for 6.1 and 6.2, I definitely did not get anything above a 4-star. Don't remember. I may have gotten a 5-star. Well, actually, no. 6.1 didn't have any, so it was only 6.2. Trying to make it sound worse than it really is, but uh, 6.2, I know I got garbage. 6.3... I'd have to look back. I, I don't remember if I got a five star or not. I know I didn't get a six star. So let's see. What do we got? Another lovely three star right before. Of course, I was just talking about a five star thing. The one time there could have been a troll over in my favor. Come on, Kabam. Come on. Anyway, so let me go ahead and just pop these last two. Come on. Something good, please. Open it. Eh, wow. That is why I don't understand why they have these, even still in 6.4. I don't understand why they have Cavalier Crystals. Maybe if they had some special version of Cavalier Crystals that at least guaranteed 4 stars to 6 stars, like get rid of the 3 stars. It's just, you know, even if I had gotten something good, it's still so weird to have... So, I mean, it's it, it's bad. It's, it's not... It's, the RNG is way too bad to have those included in story mode rewards. But, you know whatever um what else do i want to open here i think it's just the nexus and then the six star basic so i think i'm going to do the nexus first i mean if i got doom here i said it the other day if i get doom it's still not going to change my opening tomorrow i might buy the features one at a time instead of just buying a whole stack because then I don't know, but Doom, Fury, I mean, any of the feature champs, basically, aside from Vision Arcus, would be a new champ or a first dupe in the case of Man-Thing. Otherwise, give me some, I'll, you know what, I'll pet method this too, what the heck, um, even though it's really not the same. Um, I mean, but yeah, Fury, Doom, uh, Omega Red, I would still love as a five star. Uh, there are a few others in here too, so... Come on, just give me at least one good option, please. Even though I know by saying that I'm going to get none. Here we go. Come on. One time, please, Kabam. Oh, okay, okay. I'm actually really happy with that. I was... <laughs> I got super nervous at first. So let me take a screenshot of that. Ooh, that was a big, big save right there. I will 100% take a brand new Stealth Spidey. I don't have him as a six star, so I'm glad to finally have him as a five star. I've got a lot of rank up materials I could use. I mean, I could take him to rank five right now. Again, I've saved them all for Fury, but who knows if he's ever coming. So I'm very happy with that. I've even got an Awakening Gem. Don't think I would use it on him. I'm not sure. I need to look into him more, but... Oh man, I was feeling, I was feeling like I was about to get robbed right there between Moon Knight. I mean, if, if Iceman wasn't already awakened, then okay, that would have been fine. But, oh, I held my breath right there. But here is where the real action lies. So like I said, I'm only going to open one six star for right now. Be on the lookout for my live stream tomorrow morning. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of my six star shards based on how that goes. It's going to be before this one expires. So it's going to be around 9 a.m., 930 at the latest Pacific time. 
but I got to open a six star. It's act six. It's over at least the first completion. So I got to do this. Not hesitating. Here we go. Just going straight in. I mean, if I can get a new champ, that would be great. If I have to awaken somebody, obviously Corvus would be number one. Um, Human Torch would be great. Luke Cage would be fine. Doctor Strange would be fine. Aegon would be amazing. Um, ah, gosh, who else? Um, no one else really that I'm really hoping for the dupe. So I would like a new champ and I would like someone pretty strong, please. It's been a while. I've been getting some mediocre champs for a while here. I'm not touching this one. It's going to be what it's going to be. Oh, please, pretty please, Kabam. Make this happen. Make something happen for me. Somebody new and good or awaken Torch, awaken Corvus, stopped on its own. Let's see. It is going to be a new champ. I can't, I can't get a good six star anymore to save my life. I mean, it's been months, months and months and months from these basic crystals. They have treated me so poorly from awakening my rocket, well, pulling rocket raccoon and awakening rocket raccoon and gosh, who have been some of the more recent ones. Magneto is still relatively recent. Uh, Morningstar, at least, was solid. But even in the middle of that, you had Bishop. You had, you know, Punisher 2099. Vulture. Um, I'm trying not to count the ones I've gotten from Cavalier Crystals. Yellow Jacket. OG Spidey. Drax. And now, the one and only Red Skull. So happy to have him in my inventory here. Thanks for joining the roster. But anyway, that'll wrap it up for now. So thank you for watching, especially if you stuck to the end here. Act 6 completion done. So happy with that. I'm glad I can breathe now and I can finally start rebuilding some resources because in the last month or so, I've done 6.3, 6.4, and the abyss. I'm ready for a break. But, uh, but yeah, so let me know how your Act 6 progression is going in the comments below. How did your Act 6 slash 6.4 completion rewards go? Put that in the comments below. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Ring the bell. All that stuff helps me out, and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, join my Discord. Hit me up on Twitter. I'm going to keep the content coming every single day with everything going on. I just want to provide, hopefully, at least a few minutes of entertainment and and just some ease of mind right now for you. So like I said, be on the lookout for the live five-star featured big opening tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you next time.